is uh, large intestine, and these are the uh, really distinctive looking goblet, uh, or, no, I'm sorry, these are the real distinctive looking intestinal glands that you see uh, in the large that. intestine. Uh, uh, you know, lots and lots of goblet cells arranged in this very kind of distinctive looking pattern, uh, almost like little flowers. And uh, the reason you see so many goblet cells in the large intestine is because they secrete mucus, which aids in absorption. Because the large intestine absorbs mostly water, electrolytes, vitamins, and things like that. So you kind of need that um, uh, extra uh, aid for, for, for absorption. So if you want to, let me, let me show you what these look like under uh, a real high power, but I don't really think you'll need a super high power. But so yeah, so see they're, they're really kind of mm -hmm. interesting looking, uh, the way in which they're arranged. So uh, those, obviously those little light colored structures in there are the goblet cells, and um, in their <coughs> in, in, in large quantities in the mucosal layers of, of the large intestine. The other thing that this slide has, has on it that I want to show you, um, I'm probably low power, maybe not. So, so check. So look at this. Uh, this magnification on the large intestine this is really a good one. Um, so from here to here, all of this again is that thing called muscularis externa, right? And and this layer here with the fibers running in that direction is the circular layer, and then. Um, this different looking arrangement out here on the edge is, is the longitudinal layer. So, it gets, so you always kind of, it's always arranged, so it's always circular and, and then longitudinal. But remember, the stomach's got that extra layer. The stomach has got the oblique layer. But, but that's the only one that's got it. And really, uh, I think the best thing, because I don't, histologically, I really can't show you that oblique layer, but we've got that one stomach model from the, one of the mannequins.